Hey guys, Class Gamer here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. Last time, we discovered this whole conflict between the elves and humans around the nails. This time, we're gonna see if we can't solve it. Delve into Nonel's cave and try and find the runaway princess and her uh, lover that she eloped with. And of course, in here we're going to find all kinds of new enemies. Let's see, Rabbit Hounds. They can cast defense on you, which is awful, because it's going to lower your defense. And make you a lot more susceptible to their physical attacks. And let's see if I, I doubt this will work. But the de uh, dead stools here are really annoying as well because they have a sweet breath attack that'll put you to sleep. I'll see if I can't beat them to the punch. Don't count on it. Especially if Mooka doesn't really do anything. Wow, I'm surprised they got one of them to sleep. Other than that, these guys are kind of not that bad. There are worse things in here, believe me. This place will just destroy you if you aren't careful. Of course, that Sweet Breath attack really is dangerous. But prefer to avoid that entirely. Oh cool, killed one of them. And got them both. Great. And Zero got to level 10. Nice. Is he going to learn a new spell that... Sap. That's good. That's one of the spells I'm going to want. Sap is like defense, but targets a single enemy and affects them for more than defense would. Hmm, I like getting my HP restored. Oh. Yeah, this place is kind of sad. If, uh... You know, it's full of these seemingly undead enemies. Like vampires! Who can cast Ice Bolt on you and have... Reasonably powerful physical attacks as well. Um... I guess I'll try sleep, because I don't want to... If I hit them with Surround, they may just decide to cast Ice Bolt on me all the more often. Which would probably deal even more damage than their physical attacks. Ah, crap. Wow! Holy hell! Thank you. Go sleep. Yes! Oh, thank god. Muka is so lucky that she didn't get completely murdered there. Whatever, just Blaze. Blaze is fine. There we go. That's good. Fine. Ooh, I level up. What do I get? Pretty good physical stats up. Learn Remember, which is like Recall, but better. I think you can store more conversations now. Not that I need to. But if this is your first time playing this or the Game Boy Color version of the game, you may want to use that to try and remember important information. I don't know if that spells in the NES or Famicom version of the game, honestly. Oh, holy water. If I were stronger, that would be more useful here. Of course, if I were stronger, I wouldn't need to worry about using it. Okay, let's hope that we can kill these guys before we just get put to sleep and this becomes another sea slug situation from the previous game. I'm really liking the fireball spell. Because of that. Oh, that was great. Awesome! Wow, that went way better than I thought it would. So let's continue on our way through here. Um, yeah, let's head this way. Okay, and that fight Alexis hit level 10 and learned Upper, which is like Increase, but only targets one character. Kind of was hoping to learn those two spells sooner. I want to head to the right here first. Because this path loops back around to the uh, original path we were on, but it contains a small metal. That should be number 12. Krisha is the 12th small metal. So, let's do a little bit of backtracking and then head this way. And there is the hot spring that Priest mentioned. I want to make sure I can get there. So let's go ahead and use a lot of our MP and heal back up. Because that fight also left the party, well, pretty well wrecked. Because this hot spring is here, this would be a pretty good place to do some grinding if you would want to do so. Just hang out here, kill things, 
step on that to get a full restore. It does more than your HP, it also restores all your MP. And things are giving me pretty good money. Be able to afford some things when I get out of here. Wow, that went really bad. A dead stool and a vampire. Dead stool got almost the entire party put to sleep. Couldn't run away. Vampire just started killing us with melee and ice bolt. Could've been worse. Could've been more than two enemies. And I've had too many bad experiences with this place in the past two... to really let anything it could do to me try and get those surprise on me. I'm well aware of how difficult this place can be, so that's why I'm keeping my health all the way full for all my characters after every fight. Because this place will destroy you if you let it. If you put your guard down for even a moment, you'll find yourself getting put to sleep by dead stools and then getting your defense lowered. That was a hammer. <laughs> uh, getting just so bad. Uh, defense lowered by the whatever's the dogs in here and then next thing you know the whatever. The vampires are killing you. Sorry, I'm trying to manipulate menus and talk at the same time. Ah, here. Might be able to use this as an example. Let's see if we can't kill the vampire quickly. Oh, nice job, Muga. You did something dumb, but you still managed to hit the guy. Crap. Okay. I'll take that. That's good. Only one of us went to sleep. The other time, everyone but Muka fell asleep. And that's never good because half the time she doesn't do anything worthwhile. Let's... yeah. Jeez. One hit, and my HP was low enough that a heal spell would be good regardless. Just ridiculous. Oh, hell! Okay, for a fight like this, I suggest trying to put those dead stools to sleep. Because if they get their sleep spell to hit you, then you're kind of screwed. You're also screwed if your fireball spells don't work on them. Crap. Really, everyone but zero. Come on, get successful. Well, okay, two or three, that's good. Let's put the expel spell to use. Let's try and banish those vampires. Okay, that didn't work at all. Crap, now I'm dying. Don't kill me. Okay, I need to heal myself. Zero, expel, dead stools. Don't hit me. Crap! Well, that's... Yeah, this is the reason this place is so bad for you. I almost at full health before coming into this fight. Can we just run away? Oh my god. We really just need to get out of this fight now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here's the plan. You know the outside spell. We're going to cast that. I might have a warp wing in my inventory somewhere. We're going to use that. I'm going to go heal up, and then I'll come back and meet you back at probably that little intersection I was just in. I'm going to have to walk to. Fun. Alright, see you guys in a minute. Okay, well, I'm on the way back to the uh, town still. I ran into new enemies, Ravagers, or in the Game Boy Color version of the game, they're called Mad Ravens. They get two attacks. They're not really a big deal besides that. They didn't get surround on them, since all they're going to do is physical attacks that may be useful. Oh, hey, cool. Got a bunch of illusions up on them. They're still managing to bash Mooka's head in with the skulls they're carrying around, but you know what? That's okay. I've already got one dead character. Why not have more? Wow. Game, I wasn't serious about that. 
You can settle down now. Oh, hell. I want to kill that Rogue Knight before he brings in healers. Unfortunately, his defense is so high that uh, Mooka and Zero are going to be almost useless against him. You know, I really wish Surround helped more, because it apparently isn't doing shit for me today. Because I think half their attacks still hit. Oh good, that's dead. Heal yourself, target all these guys, please kill them. At least one of them. Good? Okay. And as long as Zero heals himself before he gets hit again, we'll be okay. Thank. You. I think Muka was trying to look sexy in that wall of text that popped up and <laughs> went away before we could really read it. At least she leveled up again. Something good's coming from this trip. Okay, I'm back here in Nonal's Cave, made it to the intersection that I told you I'd be at. I went ahead and bought a whole bunch of medical herbs, wing wyverns, and deposited a thousand gold into the bank, because there's no reason to hold on to the money if you're going to lose it all when you die. Now, unfortunately, these dead stools can really screw you over, as you saw. Their sleep status effects are the worst thing that you can have happen to you in here. And, the vampires are probably the the uh, most dangerous enemies as far as damage per turn goes. So, things to watch out for. Hopefully I don't get hit with that combo again. Actually, let's get Muka back up to max. I would really rather no one died again. So, let's continue exploring this place. Sleep is, especially in the, with the vampires to back it up. Holy crap. That was just vampires, and they knocked me down to nearly dead. Or, you know, less than half my health, anyway. Ooh, a silver rosary! That should give you some kind of a, uh... a different personality if you equip it. Not to mention it'll increase your defense. Let's hand that off to zero. He's sharp currently. We'll go ahead and equip this and see what that does. Makes him romantic. Okay. I... No, that's the correct translation. Romantic is, let's see, below average strength, above average agility, below average... Um, great, completely lost my place. Uh, stamina, above average intelligence, and average luck. So that is... 35354. I... Yeah, I think I like Sharp more. More agility and Sharp, more intelligence in the Sharp. Which is really what my Cleric will need. So, I'll just make him put that in the bag. That way I don't have to worry about it. Changing how he levels up. Even though I'm not going to get the minor defense boost out of it. Nothing that little hallway. Go and skip that staircase for the time being. What? I don't want to examine the floor, I want to open the chest to get the leather dress. Yeah, I could have bought one of those back in the uh, Pachisi track, couldn't I? Well, obviously, as a dress, it is a female-only piece of equipment, but it's only as good as the turtle shell I had on Muka and Alex. Or, Alexis. Whatever, Alex is short for Alexis. Ha 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 ha! Gave those dead stools a taste of their own medicine! Came across five of them in that fight, put everyone to sleep with a single spell. I love it when I can do that to them. I mean, it's so effective against me, at least it's equally effective against the enemy. At least, pretty effective. I guess they don't stay asleep quite as long as we do, because we stay asleep for several turns in a row. It's bullcrap. So it's worth noting that the Dead Stools also have a physical attack that can put you to sleep. Don't want to get hit by that either. Ooh, a whole bunch of money. Okay, I think that's all the... Whoa, Evil Moth, holy crap. Uh, that's all the different 
places to explore. Evil Moths, or I believe they are called Carney Moth in the Game Boy Color version of the game, can cast Surround and have a poisonous attack. So this fight's terrible. I do not like the way this is set up at all. Um, screw it, just... Dead souls need to be taken care of. Thank you for trying to look pretty in the mirror again, Mooka. You're so useful. Come on, go to sleep. Yes, all of them put to sleep. And, well, okay, fine. Two out of three on this fireball isn't too bad. I wish I knew more about their specific resistances. Oh, no. Son of a bitch. Do I know? No, I don't. Great, I'm just going blindly whip at those evil moths and hope I actually hit. Um, screw it, zero just attack, and... Oh, zero doesn't even have good accuracy right now either. Okay, fine. Ice Bolt Dead still hopefully will finish it off. Or Muka can actually be useful for once. I usually don't even account her in my uh, plans because she usually doesn't do anything effective. Hopefully I'll put these guys to sleep. Good enough for me. Let's try and make sure that Muka doesn't die. Since she's actually being useful for once. And I want her to keep getting experience. And she try to run away. I've never seen that succeed. Like, you can enter the runaway command and it can succeed. I've never once seen a jester attempt to run away as their own doing whatever the hell they feel like doing and having that succeed. Would have been really annoying since I had the upper hand in that fight. Yes! Learned Antidote! Cool, I don't need to worry about Antidote Herbs anymore. Well, no, 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 it's not Caster Turn. I'll use Homer's MP. Because, uh, Zero is really low on MP. And I need him to have his do things like cast Sleep and Surround and whatever else I want him to do. Okay, let's go through these stairs now. Oh, wow. It's weird mist fog going on in here. And anyway, we can find this chest and find the Dream Rupee. From when I thought the game froze. And we find a parting letter, it would seem, from the uh, elf princess. And you could gather that she and the uh, the human she eloped with threw themselves into the lake and killed themselves because of their forbidden love. And if they can't live in a world where they can love each other, they forsake everything. So romantic. Seriously, though, what the fuck? Let's take the Dream Rupee back to the mom. Yeah, they totally killed themselves in the lake because you're a horrible person. That's right. Feel bad about it. Make up for your mistakes. And pelt and moat. Let's see what the guy's dad says. <laughs> I like how they capitalize dead. My son is dead? E Sorry, man. That's the way it happened. What's weird, though, is, uh... Well, actually, never mind. I'm not going to explain what I was just saying there. The game will explain it for me momentarily. Let's go back to no Nals. Yeah, let's get back there and use this powder so I can bring all those people... Back to the waking world. Okay, where did that go in my inventory? There, this wake up powder. Let's go ahead and use this. No, oh, that's weird how it made everything dark. Ah, I was going to say, well, that was rather quick. Now, there is a cool little animation with particle effects going on. Actually, could you even call that particle effect? It's just smaller pixels going around. I don't think we really have particle effects or anything like that till, you know, the current generation. <laughs> nice welcoming speech there, buddy. Yeah, you go visit Grandpa. Yeah, we, uh... We saved the village, apparently. I don't know. Why do you think you've been asleep for years? Um... Just a moment? 
Not really? I'm going to say no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay then, game. Apparently, if you say you weren't watching her, she's all like, Oh, why weren't you watching me when I was sleeping? You're not perverted enough? And then if you say you are, she thinks you're a complete weirdo. Also, this girl apparently knows our dad. Okay, how could that have happened, though? Because Ortega came through here, you know, years ago, when I was a baby. So, I would say 10, 8, 10, even, maybe even more years ago. So, by that logic, these people have been sleeping for years, a decade, at least. Yeah. Uh, oh hey. Well, we should probably follow our father's footsteps, literally, then. Yeah. That's really weird. At least these people seem to have been in some kind of cryo-sleep stasis. Even though it wasn't literally, you know, cryogenics. They've been asleep for a really long time, and they apparently didn't age. Because the little kids were sleeping, and are still little kids. So. Crazy elf curse. They're really lucky no one came and just murdered them in their sleep, though. You know, this place could have been taken over by monsters. It's not like there aren't enough strong ones around. So, now this place is open, we can get Cloaks of Evasion, which, as you can see, pretty good defense boost across the board. Except for on myself. I think... Okay, Cloak of Evasion must be one less, and I think the Iron is one more than the kilt I'm wearing. At which point I say, screw I'll just keep the kilt and not worry about one point of defense. That's usually not a big deal in Dragon Quest anyway. I do want to get something, though. Steel Sword's not too bad. Almost. I have enough money for the Steel Sword, actually, because I've got uh, another thousand in the bank. Wizard Staff probably does exactly what it did in the previous game. But I imagine it casts Blaze if you use that as an item. I have enough MP, I really don't care. I really do want Cloaks of Evasion. I don't have nearly enough money for even one of them. Although, I'm pretty sure I can sell stuff. Let's see. Leather dress was useless to me. That chainmail should be useless to me. Hmm. I may be able to get at least a Cloak of Evasion yet. Let's see. Boxer shorts don't do anything for me. I'm sure I could sell these seeds, except for the nut. I'm gonna keep the nut. Don't need the sacred knife anymore. Hmm. Man, but that sword's also really tempting. Here's what I intend on doing then. I imagine I'll have enough money after selling all this stuff to get a steel sword and hopefully one cloak of evasion. Hopefully. If not, I might do some grinding so I can get it, because I really do want Alexis to have more defense, as she's kind of the soft, squishy character of the party right now. But with her... Uh, how much defense? 36, and only... 30 HP? Yeah, I really need to get that Cloak of Evasion for her. So I'm going to go ahead and do just the tiniest bit of grinding to get the armor and the weapon I want, and next time we'll go after Kandar in the Champagne Tower to the west on Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. So, Classic Corner signing out. See you guys later.